everyone, my name is Confident and it's great to have you back. In this video, I'd like to show you how to create custom columns using the table widget. And these custom columns can range from um, other widgets such as images or buttons to static value to dynamic or computed values from other columns in the table widget. So for us to get started, um, right here we have a table widget on the page. And what I want to do for this example is to create a custom username column based on the email of the particular user. So to do that, what I need to do is to head to the um, property pane of the table widget and click on the button that says add new columns. I'm just going to click on this. And here you see we have a custom column. So let's go in to customize this column. We can give this a name. So let's call this username. And we have username showing up here. Now we can go on to set the type for this column. So we can either set this to um, something like a button. And then we have a button showing up. We can set this to something like an image. And we can go on to supply a URL for the image and we'll have the images showing up. Or you can go back to the list here to select a column type that suits your use case. For this example, we'll be going with the plain text because we want to compute a username. So for the computed value, which will be the text shown up on each column, we can type in some value, which will be shown on every column. And taking a look at this, you can see that we have um, one because we typed in one showing up on every column. But what we we'll actually want to do is to create a computed value from the user's email. So we want to generate a username from the user's email. So what I need to do here is to write some JavaScript to do that. So the first thing I want to do is to have access to the user's email, which I can do by typing current row.email. And taking a look at this, we have the user's email showing up. Then I can write some JavaScript to do some manipulation and get me the username from that email. So I can write something like dot split. At add and select the first item which will be index zero. So taking a look at this, we've been able to generate the user's username based on the email of that particular user. So this is how you can easily create custom columns using the table widget on AppSmith. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like, get subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.